Hi, Rick. Hi, Wendy. Um, is that you behind those crazy glasses? <laughs> behind those foster grants. They're my holiday glasses. I'm like a big old Christmas tree. <laughs> hey, speaking of the holidays, yes. I have a surprise guest. <gasps> Cur courtesy. Hello. Ho, ho, ho. This is... <laughs> This is Wino Claus. He's Santa Claus, but he comes bearing a basket of wine. I love it. Love and Wino Claus. <laughs> Yay! Do you like he my can, glasses, Wino Claus? I bet he, he does. He can sit back here and, and um, watch over us while we're while we're doing our activity today. Oh, look at that! He's so tiny back there. Tiny. Um, <laughs> what is our activity today? Let's tell everybody. Oh visiting our YouTube channel. That's right. We are going to do wine cork angels. They're really cool. And I got, I found this on a website called onelittleproject.com. Um, and I actually cut out a little picture so everyone can see what they're going to look like. Can you see that? Yeah, they're little angels made out of wine corks with ribbon and twine. And that's a perfect segue. perfect segue because you really don't need much Hello. to make these wonderful little, and it's, you know, obviously it's the holidays. It's, you have your holiday glasses on and Santa Claus is just, wine of Claus is just here. Um, so what a perfect way to add a little homemade um, joy to your Christmas tree or to give this to someone to um, spread holiday joy to friends and family as well. Um, so I'm going to go through what we need for this um, activity, and it looks like we can see your um, work area very well, so that's good. Um, you need a glue gun and glue sticks, which I, you can see I have, or that you have. You need just one cork from a wine bottle. You need, and of course you need to drink the wine before bit. you use that cork. Oh yeah, you have, your, yours is like from a, a bourbon it bottle. Is. Something. Not, yeah. not a wine drinker. That's all right. Um, the directions call for a wooden ball for the um, angel's head, but it looks like, as we often do here at Gifts and Gratitude, we don't follow the rules. <laughs> we don't follow the rules. So what are you using, Wendy? I'm using a red felt ball. Okay. And I'm using these really cool pearl kind of pearl essence. I don't know what you call them exactly. They're like big pearls. Um, I'm gonna use this for the head. All right. Um, you need a little bit of ribbon, um, preferably like a thin ribbon uh, to make the wings for the angel. I'm using a little piece of um, tinselly garland. Okay. And you need some twine, which you're gonna make, we're gonna fashion, fashion um, a little loop so you can hang it on the tree, on a Christmas tree or display it somewhere else. I'm using a little hemp cord. You could use twine or cord, whatever you need to do. Perfect. Okay. Um, you need a Sharpie or any kind of thin marker because that's what you're going to use to uh, to uh, draw the eyes and mouth the expression of the angel. And if you do use a wooden ball, um, they suggest using matte Mod Podge on the wooden ball. So when you um, apply either blush or use a pen uh, on the wooden ball, it doesn't bleed into the ball. So um, yeah, perfect. I love that you had that. You could display that. Um, we're not going to be using it because the medium that we're using for the head is uh, different. You don't need it for something shiny and, and um, like this or for the felt. But just remember to do that if you're going to use the um, wood ball. OK. Are you ready? You got, you got What are you doing? <laughs> Everybody, I missed everyone. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, well, we need to, we need everyone to see your crafty work. Yeah, let's get crafty. Work. Let's get yeah, crafty. Being crafty, being crafty, being crafty. Um, so I was telling Wendy before we did this, I am much more comfortable with the food activities that we've done here at Gifts and Gratitude, but I. I'm taking one for the team and I'm leading this uh, glue gun craft. It's going to be interesting to see how this comes out, but um, hey, 
Wendy's the act. Wendy's you're going to, you're going to rock and roll on this one. I know it. I just know it. Okay. Let's get started. So grab your, uh, your cork and you're going to take the head of the angel and just glue it on to the cork. So I'm going to put a little, apply a little glue here. A little dab will do ya. And her head is already trying to roll off the bench. Hey, um, I'll be right back. I've got to go um, look at some nuts. <gasps> Wendy, I think you're advertising for another one of our, um, another one of our, you, oops, my glue gun's tipping over. <laughs> it's already a disaster. Um, one of our activities that we recently just did are some nutty nut spicy and uh, spicy sweet nuts. And Wendy decided to do another batch to gift for folks. Um, and they're, I think you said they're almost done, right? Well, I hope done. they're done. Yep, tell us the next thing to do. Yes, I, I wish I was there so I could smell them because I'll tell you when I made oh, them, I was amazing. You'll have okay. to watch us on YouTube, you know. So are you, are you back or are you still being nutty? Yeah, go ahead, I'll be right over. Okay, got it. So everyone, you can see that Wendy put her, her um, felt head on her cork. I put my, um, what would you call this? I guess like really um, luminescent head on my cork. You're gonna take one little piece of twine and they say to put that around the neck of the angel, just to kind of cover up that glue. Um, so it doesn't, it just kind of gives it a little cleaner look. Is this the twine um, that's going to be hanging from the tree? No, this is around her neck. So just a little bit of string or twine, whatever you have. And you tie a bow with it? Uh, you can. I mean, like, is it going to be seeing it or, or is it just decoration? No, it's, it's to, you're, you're going to be seeing it. I'm just doing mine like in a, um, ow, ow, there goes the, <laughs> there goes the glue on my hand. I'm That's just doing it like this. You gotta watch that glue gun. Okay. Yeah. I so look, you can see it. if you can see a little bit on mine. It's just a simple little, just kind of makes it look better, so you don't see the glue around her head. Ah, oh, got it. And I'm snipping mine off my little edge there, so it's a little cleaner looking. Okay, perfect. So I'll do that. Tie it. I'm double knotting, and then I will cut her off. Okay. It looks like she has a little bow tie, actually. She has a little raffia, or not raffia, twine bow tie. There she goes. Boop, 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 boop. Happy holidays. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take another piece of twine. And this one is going to be big enough that you're going to um, glue it to the back of the cork because you're going to be using this to hang it from the tree. So make it, mine's, you know, probably a piece of string, maybe eight inches, doubled, and glue that on the back of her, of the cork. And this can be whatever. Um, so do you make uh, the loop? Are you saying you make the loop? Correct. Or you make the loop and then where it crosses, like this. Uh-huh. Put it on there. Okay. Try not to burn yourself. Got it. Like I seem to be doing. Yeah, you gotta be, the glue gun is tricky. Tricky, tricky. That, you know, we need to go to that website. Um, we mentioned it before, a girl in a glue gun. She has a yeah. great website. Yeah. All and right. she's she's probably, I wonder what her fingers look like. Can you imagine? Ooh. A little dab, well, it goes away quickly. Yeah, she's probably really good at it at this point though. So you can see, I don't want to hold it yet because I want it to dry, but you can see the loop there. I'm just kind of pressing it in with the edge of my Sharpie to have my little loop. Yeah. And then cutting off the edges, right? Yeah. Well, she's that way. Correct. And then, that looks good, excellent. Okay, now we're gonna make her wings. Wee. So I'm gonna lay her down. She's gonna take a little nap here while we while we do the ring the uh, the rings the wings. 
Okay, so this is where the, the uh, ribbon comes in to play. I'm using a silver um, ribbon. I just thought it would look cool on my tree because we have all glass um, ornaments, uh -huh. silver and glass. So I'm gonna use this. You wanna make basically just a basic bow out of the ribbon. Okay. And just imagine, I mean, this is gonna be the, her wing. So you can do, you know, whatever, however large you want, large or small. Mm -hmm. So I have taken my tinsel and wrapped it around her sweet little neck. <laughs> and now I'm going to, there, she kind of has wings. There's a lot of red here. Yeah. So you skipped you skipped a, a step, but hey, I like it. What's, so what step she, did I skip? Well, they in the in the um, in the activity, this is to be glued on the back as her wings. But if you want to, oh, I just had a little nudge the way my um, tinsel was. So I have. Yeah, a, no, it's perfect. I I love that you did it that way. Actually, I'm gonna glue mine on the back here and see how it yes. how it turns out. Glue. I'm gonna have wow, this, this is hot, hot stuff. You know, I don't know about your glue gun, but my glue gun has settings for um, high and low. No, mine is you plug it in or you don't. Oh. <laughs> it's my glue gun. I see. Okay. This actually, this is good because I have a little practice with my... Um, so you can see, here she is. Excellent. Looks good. I like the red, Wendy. That looks really good. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So now comes the chance for you to draw her face. And this is where you can, well, I mean, you can get creative on any of this. But the cool thing is, in the um, activity, they just use like a little um, cute little smile and two, um, it looks like her eyes are like shut with some eyelashes on there. So I'm going to do... I think I'm gonna do a, and you can use, since Wendy's doing felt um, and I'm doing this kind of uh, luminescence ball here, I'm gonna do just two little. I was wondering if she could remain faceless. She could. I was wondering if I could add a halo. I'm we practicing. Halo? I'm doing her her. Uh... I'm gonna add a halo. Look at that! I'm proud of myself for this. I love it. Look how cute she is. She's adorable. You like my halo? I love your halo. Thank you. That's great. I think I'm going to try giving her a little halo. I'm going to go crazy here, Rick. I'm trying to think. Look, it looks like mine is, or my angel's, my angel's bald, but she's she's fierce. Look at her. She's like ready to go. She's ready to fly onto the tree. Burr, 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 burr. Hey, there's, wait, I need to bring wine back over. You got he has, a, he has a sidekick now, look. I love it. They're buddies. They All right, I'm buddies. trying something here, and I think it's going to work. Let me see. This is the cool thing about crafting. You can, crafting, yeah. You can do whatever the heck you want. Ooh, That's right. Smoking. It is smoking. Yeah, the, the, the cool thing with a lot of these um, activities that we do is they're all really easy. And you can adapt them to either what you already have in the house or what you want to make. Yeah, so I um, didn't have any uh, ribbon or a, a face or anything. And I've just added a little halo. Let's see. That. Okay, that is awesome. She has a little star halo. I love it. I I'll love it. Let me see what, like, I don't know if I could do a face as good as yours though, Rick. <laughs> Hey, little did I know that I was good at, or pretty decent, I should say, at making a little angel face on 
an ornament. Look at that. Use my little face. Hold them up. Wait. I <laughs> have her, have her fly over. Oh, my halo's falling off. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, this hey. is super cute, super fun. Really awesome. I think you can, you know, you could hang them or what I like too is because I have a bottom on mine is you could just kind of to have a few on your mantle. Perfect gift for the wino in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? These would be perfect to put on gifts, like as decoration, you know, oh, like, great you know, idea. yeah, like put it on with a bow or you could actually just wrap a present and imagine like setting her on there. And it's almost like two presents in one because they can use this as a, your um, friends can use this as another, um, as an ornament. Yeah, cool. And the beautiful thing is it can just be the gift too, right? It can. Either yeah. or. So, merry, cool. merry, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and wine of claws reminds you, drink responsibly. And enjoy your angels. We're so glad that you joined us for this edition of uh, Gifts and Gratitude. Remember, come back again soon. Lots of ideas to cook and craft and ways to make your life and others delicious. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave some comments for us. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, Wendy. Always, always fun. Happy always holidays. Fun, Rick. Always. Have a good <laughs> one. See you soon. Bye. Everyone. You really think you're an angel, Rick? <laughs> I never had a halo. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs>